We're going to start off. By doing the stream rewards and who we think we should win. So, won't name myself in anything. I might do. I might put myself in one just for the fun of it. But we'll see. Thanks, mate. Was it? Was my face not good before? I thought my face was always good. So, yeah, new camera, new lighting, new everything. Favourite stream rewards. To be considered for any award category, nominated streamers must have a stream for at least 200 hours total in 23. Which I didn't do, so I can't put myself down even for a joke be considered for specific award categories like Battle Royale, Chess, nominated streamers must have streamed for at least 100 hours in that category. Your submission will be used to determine the final nominees. Nominees will close on the January the 19th. So, best creative art streamer. So some of these I'll probably skip or come back to. Uh, that might have to wait food and drink art music food and drink ah music there's a few for music that I want to put down uh, let me just let me just double check something Because there's a few that I really like. Is it? I know people like Andrea and that of. Because uh, you can't really do make music, so this is the hard part. Because there's quite a few that do music, but I need to go with the person who gives me the most information about music and there's a few one of them is somebody called Alice Yelsin Alfe or Fa sorry who who's very very in depth with their musical detailing obviously I could do a bit of music production here and there so every bit helps in that regard uh Disclosure, I've done a few. Point Blank Music, I've done a few. Sam Smyers is another one. Oh, with that one, I'm probably going to go... Sam Smyers. Just purely for sound production reasons. Best MMORPG streamer. RuneScape. Just GTA. GTA classes as an MMORPG, doesn't it? I'm pretty sure GTA 5 classes as an MMORPG. Hmm. With that one, I will have to... Oh is GTA 5 an MMORPG? He's not classified as an MMO. Oh God, okay. Wow, I don't know many streamers who play RuneScape or World of Warcraft and people like that then. So I might have to miss that one out. Skip. Best strategy gamer, StarCraft, League of Legends, Dota. For this one, I'd have to say Tyler1. Because Tyler1 does do some League of Legends. 
Uh, best chess streamer. <laughs> I do enjoy watching Ludwig on chess. I won't lie. And he probably will come up a few times in this in this voting round. Um, he did it a lot in 2023. He hasn't done it the last few months. But obviously he's done a lot of like events like chess boxing and stuff like that, which really got me into chess. I only started playing chess one, once I watched chess boxing. So for me, this one has to be Ludwig. Uh, best software, this one has to go with pirate software. Now I watch him pretty much daily. He's blown up huge in the last year. Uh, yeah, he's, he's just gotten so big. He's like the third biggest streamer. So I'm going to have to go with him. Best fighting game streamer. So I got the most enjoyment off watching. Jev. Je Tim the Tapman, Dr. Disrespect or Jev. I've got to go for with these because these are the only people who played. It's Super Smash. Again, Ludwig plays that, but I'm not really into Smash. So I'm probably going to have to go with... I don't... These are going to create the best fighting game content. But that's the thing. Some of these games are a fashion. Like Mortal Kombat, when it came out, it was like a month and a half fashion. So they're not purely... I don't know these are asking for purely... Purely these... Um, genres, but... I've got to go Tim Tatman because he... <laughs> He played it quite a bit for a while and I got a, a few laughs from it. Best speedrun streamer. Squeaks. Has to be Squeaks. Uh, this award serves to highlight an amazing streamer with less than 100 average viewers. So I could go down the the comical route for just a bit of a laugh and a bit of content and put myself down because I've just figured out I did do more than 200 hours last year. I did a few 10 hour, quite a few 10 hours and I was streaming from probably March up until November. Quite a lot, like three, four times a week. But... got to because I watched not only because I'm you know friends with them, but also because they've put a lot of hours into some of the games they play even though the games they play aren't my really favourite of games but they've put, they've put a lot of hours into it and I know they used to a while back and I think they're possibly coming over to YouTube Yeah, I could have put myself down there as a laugh, but I think Simga might be a good, a good one. Let me just put the because I don't stream to Twitch anymore. Um, hidden gem. So, Mr. Simga, best battle royale streamer. I've got to say, Cloaksy, because he plays COD. And again, Dr. Disrespect plays a lot of Battle Royales. A lot, a lot. And I watch Dr. Disrespect, Tim the Tap Man. You know what? Uh, it's 9 out of 28. I'm sure they'll come up again. If not, I'll put a question mark next to that and possibly change it. Best FPS streamer. C. I'm a big Tarkov fan. And... You probably think that I'm putting Doctor there because you think I'm going to say Doctor Disrespect. And you would be absolutely wrong. It's going to be Doctor Delupo. He, I won't lie to you, I've donated to these people quite a few times um, because they're just 
streamers that I massively enjoy. Uh, Lupo, I've watched him for years. Well, years. You'll see a few of Do Dr. Disrespect, Tim the Tapman, Ludwig, and Dr. Lupo in these. Uh, Rising Star Award. This award goes to a streamer who is still on the rise and averaged under a thousand viewers last year, but has the potential to be much more. So now, if I go to my Twitch, I'm not that active on Twitch. But. But. I watched a lot of Ames and some of Triple G. And I like Triple G. But I feel like he can probably sometimes be a bit too agitated towards the viewers when they comment stuff. Some pe There's a lot of people who can comment stupid stuff, but he can have a bit of attitude sometimes, even though he probably doesn't mean to come across that way. It's just his personality. But, but, I'm going to go with Ames. I think she averages like two, 300 viewers, but she's great. She's good fun to watch, genuinely. Um, Best roleplay streamer. Oh, you know what? Uh, I, no, no, I'll stick with Valkyrie because I've only just watched, started watching Sarkuno with his roleplay stuff in GTA. I don't think Rust is a roleplay game. Hey, best Minecraft streamer. I don't know. I'm going to have to skip that one. Best IRL streamer. Ah. Abroad in Japan. Chris Broad. Great videos. Lives in Japan. Always does videos. Um, stream game of the year. It has to be for me. It has to be. It just has to be. But I think Squeak is going to play that. Play that Squeaker, Squeaker, the Japanese game with like vending machine and fruits. I think it's going to be that that wins that one. Best shared channel. So Lana's Tech Tips is actually a shared channel. It's shared between him and his wife. Is this Twitch only? No. Okay. It's YouTube as well. So, yes. Shared channel. Best content organization. Ooh. Esports or content that has created the best content. Don't know. Don't know any e-game e esports teams. So, I'm going to have to miss that one out. Um... Best stream, streamed series. Or repeat event. Wow. Best recurring show. I don't know. I don't know. Best streamed event. Uh, what's it called? What's it called? Let's have a look. Let me just find it. Um, so, I watched this live. I watched all of it live. I thought it was good. I thought it was fun. I thought it was a good idea. It included the Twitch CEO, of which Ludwig isn't even contracted to Twitch. Um, yeah. Talking about Twitch at the moment is a bit of a different topic, but yeah. Best international streamer. 
a top streamer excelling in content creation for a global audience, specifically catering to an international or non-North Ameri North American English speaking nation. He's done a channel, his channel has incorporated eight different languages into his videos. It has to be for me. Uh, specifically, specifically catering to an internet. I don't know any international streamers who don't speak English. I spelt Mr. Beast wrong anyway. Um, I'll put that because I can't think of anyone. Best breakthrough streamer who's had the unprecedented growth. Yeah, sorry. Jinxing. Has to be. He's huge. He has to be. He's just blown up. Best VTuber. Who's that one that... Oh, man. I can't remember a name. It's... Ah... She, 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 oh, I, I can image her. I need to have a look because I can't remember the name, but I know the face. And this is probably cheating, but I don't care because I used to watch her a bit. I used to pass through and... Oh, this, this is annoying. Uh, okay, so... Can't remember a name. I'm going to have to leave it then. Uh, God, this is upsetting. I'll come back to it. I'll come back to it. Best just chatting streamer. Mm. Is it see dag see dog dog? No, I've done that one. Sea Dog VA. 100% Sea Dog VA. Best variety streamer. <laughs> yeah. Automatically. The Sapphire Award. Best female or marginalized gender streamer of the year. This award recognizes a streamer who, like a sapphire, is formed against the odds. In an industry where 97% of the top streamers are male, this award is dedicated to streamers who identify as female or a marginalised gender and have excelled in entertaining at the highest level. Now, explanation. There was a clip that went viral about Fusely, or Leslie, uh, a few years ago, who... <laughs> I'm not sure if people have seen the guitar clip where... She said it was a guitar under the bed and it actually wasn't. It was a bit of a pleasuring device. Now that's hard for her to carry on with that. And had it been a male, people would have just probably laughed it off. But she had to go through so, like, you know, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Like, I think my generation overall are soft. And most people would just just give up and not deal with the embarrassment she never she carried on made a made light of it, it, it you know she's only human at the end of the day let's be honest we're not we're not all saints um and if it was a guy that had something like that people just laughed anyway and blah blah, blah but people ridiculed her for it for it and she carried on uh and obviously with her being a female it was a lot harder than what it would have been as a guy so fair play to her I personally found it funny and not in a derogatory way more in a it's funny laugh it off it, I would have I would have I would have just gone oh yeah it, 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 it's your mum it, whatever you know just something to bypass the situation and skip past it and do whatever she did you know I can't remember what she did at the time I think she kind of just pretended it, yeah, it's the guitar which she knew, and I think she found a bit embarrassed. But so, A, 
streamer is a pioneer that creates one-of-a-kind content. With their creativity and out-of-the-box thinking, they are a trailblazer in the streaming industry. Someone who relies on themselves for their content ideas and is genuinely in a league of their own. I just... I just genuinely think Ludwig is not like any other streamer out there. I genuinely think he's not like any other streamer out there that I know. Yeah, and... I'll watch him. I'll make it. I'll, make, I'll go out of my way to watch his streams daily. Gamer of the year. Where's game of the year? Okay, don't worry about it. Yeah, Baldur's Gate for me wouldn't be a game of the year because I haven't played it. Escape from Tarkov. I have. Gamer of the year. Streamer who has extraordinary gaming abilities and has performed exceptionally at a variety of games over the past year has to be shroud without a doubt shroud he's just gone god tier streamer of the year for me would go to ludwig so and uh, sorry uh, the best overall streamer they saw great success with their entertaining content elevated their brand and in general left their mark on viewers the amount of events he's done dodgeball chess boxing it even does smash content and he knows he lose money on it, but because Nintendo don't want to continue that stuff, he's done it out of his own pocket. So he he creates so many events, and he's got more coming up. And he's got I think he's got a Ludwig and Tarek Invitational for Valorant this weekend. Just you know, have I missed any MP? So I'm not going to do that one because I don't know any. Best chess Lud. No. That's not... Tyler 1 has gone up a thousand rate points on chess in the past year. Because he did one of Ludwig's events and he just I watched him quite a bit after that because he just sat on it and lived on it. Your brother's a VTuber. That's crazy. Let's check him out. Is he on Twitch? Have a look. Have a look at some of his content. Taking a while to load the video, but I think the do, we all, do we all just play the funny bunny? He's I definitely your brother by the bunny. accent. Bro, I said I played a little bit, not that I unlocked. And in my back of my head, I'm just thinking like, you still need. He's your got more average views than me, Dan. DisneyChannel.com. Oh, I'm on his YouTube. <laughs> I'm on his YouTube. I wanted to check out YouTube. You oh, landmark. Have a look. Oh yeah, 300 odd. That's quite good. Four hours ago. Cool. Right, now we have to do is just beat up Big Mom. So he's got a good layout. He's got a good layout for his chat and seems to be interacting with his chat. He's already dead. He's got his alerts up there. Well, she's well, she's well done. Yeah. Oh uh, dear. 21 viewers, it's about. Yeah, that's. Is this Mortal Kombat? I think my internet's really laggy today. Am I dropping frames? Am I dropping frames? Yeah. Shouldn't be. 600 frames dropped. It's just loading Twitch. I don't know why. Uh, I will put him because he looks like, you know, he's a... Am 
Cool, put him there. So I'm going to take this one out because I don't think he played it that much recently. No, I think there's something with my internet, if I'm honest with you. Where's VTuber? I think my internet's just a bit... Let me just do an Ookla. You might see the stream uh, jitter a bit, so I'm just doing a quick speed test. Liga of Zone, Variety. Oh, there you go. Still got 100 meg. I don't know, it might be just... I don't know, we'll f I'll figure it out in a minute, hold on. Have a look at my task manager. Yeah, nothing's at 100%, so... I'll put Captain Purple out there, and that is my... Submission. So... To go through, best creative art streamer, Sam Smiles, he does music. No one for the MMO RPG, no one for the strategy, but for chess, I've put Tyler One. Best software and game development streamer, Pirate Software, he's blown up huge and I'll watch him still. I've got no coding knowledge or very little coding knowledge, and I'll even I'll watch him and see what he does with his game code. Best fighting game streamer, Tim the Tapman. I watch him constantly. And I know he played a lot of Mortal Kombat and he went on a big run with it. Speedrun Squeaks. He's blown up as well, Squeaks, massively. Uh, he was a, he was a bit of a speedrunner. Even though it's a bit of a, a troll explanation for what he does, he's... He uh, hidden Gem is Mr. Simga. Because he's got under, under, under 100 viewers on average and he spends a lot of time on his videos and stuff. And obviously he's in chat. Best but Battle Royale streamer, Cloaksy. Very, very, very inconsistent with his streams. Very inconsistent with his streams. But when he does, he's very, very good. Best FPS streamer. For me, uh, Dr. Lupo. It doesn't say the best at the game. It says most enjoyable streamer to watch. Dr. Lupo. Rising Star. He's Ames, who used to be called I'm Amethyst. She's on Twitch. Stream with the best start. Roleplay content. Valkyrie. She's... Uh, no, I'm going to delete that out because I think she's only just recently started, to be fair. Um, so maybe next year we can put Valkyrie. Best Minecraft, I don't know anyone. Uh, and do you know what? Just for... Out of respect, and because he he's the only Minecraft streamer I've ever known before he passed away. I'm going to put Technoblade. Keep his name, keep him remembered. Best IRL streamer abroad in Japan. Abroad in Japan. He's a uh, very, very good videos recently. He's done a trout. A... See, I don't really watch Dream or Tommy in it. I personally get annoyed by Tommy in it. I think he's still got a bit of that childishness in him because of the viewers that he's a, he's, he's accounting for in his stream. Um. And obviously, I find that a tiny bit cringy. Obviously, he's done it since a child, but I think he still has a bit of childishness in it. And, he, and I think that's because he's pandering to the the Minecraft fans, which I don't. I haven't got any opinion towards. And the thing is, I appreciate every game that has a fan because I enjoy some games that you might not like, Mr. Singer. And, I, and you like some games that I might not like. But it doesn't mean... They're bad games. It just means we've got different tastes, like music. Uh, stream game of the year for me has to be Escape from Tarkov. As much as it pains me to say it, because their servers are trash, and they make it's poorly it's poorly implemented the game in a way with some of the way things could be done better. Uh, I show speed is annoying. Yeah, oh, I can't stand him. 
he's going to get somebody killed at some point, I think. Himself or someone else. Best shared content. So Lana's Tech Tips. Obviously, it's a shared, shared channel. And even though he's stepping back from it. Best content organization. Now, I've changed my mind on this. And some people might find it slightly... Unforgiving or bias. But. I think the name has changed. I think the name has changed. I think the name has changed. Think. Think that. I think his team. It's not called Mogul Moves, isn't it? We called. Ah, oh, it's called um. What's it called then? Moist X spot. It's called like moist. No, do you know what? Best content organization. Odd class. Mogul Moves is a content organization. Esports or content organization. Yeah, it's Mogul Moves. It's Ludwig's. It's Ludwig's channel. It's Ludwig's uh, organization. So I'm definitely going with that. Best stream series. Don't know one uh, to say. Best streamed event. Ludwig's creator. Again, I told you Ludwig was going to be in this a lot. Best international streamer. Mr. Beast. I don't know, unfortunately, other streamers that are international. But I know Mr. Beast specifically caters to an international audience with actually hiring a translator for eight different languages. And... Making the videos like that. So I, I'm just, I was thinking about it, but I'm going to stick with Mr. Beast. Best breakthrough streamer, Jigsy. Huge. Just for kicking his camera. <laughs> Fair play to him because he, he's good at, he's good at Rainbow Six. He plays Rainbow Six Siege mainly. Uh, and he gets a lot of, a lot of interest from the likes of Tim the Tapman. Uh, best VTuber, Captain Purple Art. We've just watched a few on stream. Seems like he interacts with his audience. Uh... And yeah. Best just chatting streamer. Sea Dog VA, voice actor. Again, learned him through Ludwig. Very, very good. Very good. There's a lot of Japanese. He lives in Japan as well, so. Best variety, Ludwig, 100%. He does multiple categories. He plays Borders Gate, then he does like a just chatting, and then he, yeah, he's, yeah, he's something else. Sapphire Award, female or marginalized gender, streamer of the year. Has to be Fusely. Uh, she's had a few controversies in the past, which I respect because she rised past it. She carried on and now she's big. League of the Road. Again, I'm so sorry. Has to be Ludwig. There's no rule about only putting them once or twice. So just letting you know. Gamer of the year. Shroud, without doubt. I can't literally think of anyone else who deserves it more than Shroud. And he's been going for many, many years, continues to go for many years, and doesn't lose any sort of talent, and still impresses the big streamers. And finally, streamer of the year. Would I go with who have watched the most? Yes, Ludwig. Or... Oh. Do I get the most satisfaction from watching, which would be which would be Dr. Lupo? But I watched Ludwig more for a reason. So yeah, they've been submitted. That is my streamer award nominations for 2023.